Hi everyone, I finally took the time to work on my watercolor portrait series. So this is still the Paul Dark series and today I'm painting the main character which is Ross Paul Dark. And he's the husband of Demelza who I painted previously, so she's on the left page. And I think I'm gonna merge this series with another one I would like to work on which is more like a weekly portrait and the medium doesn't really matter. It would be watercolor or pencils or ink or anything that I feel like using. And I'm gonna try to post a video weekly, probably on Sundays, if I can. So for this portrait, I'm using again my limited palette and I try to restrict it to the five colors that I originally used uh, with the first video, which was Hue Armitage. And although I used a little bit of the other colors, I mostly focused on raw sienna, quinacridone, burnt orange, Venetian red, uh, Van Dyke brown, and ultramarine blue. And that's really all I needed. And for the skin base, um, I basically used a mix of raw sienna and Venetian red. And I put more or less of each color depending on how dark I wanted it. And later on, I added some Van Dyke Brown to make it darker. Uh, for the darker colors, I was like black or dark blue. I mixed the ultramarine with the Van Dyke Brown in, and I was able to get a really nice black as well. Towards the end, I mixed this bluish black with uh, my skin tone color to uh, use in the shadow areas when it was really really dark. So again because I haven't practiced uh, making watercolor portraits in a while it's still pretty much guesswork for me. I do start with a base layer for the whole portrait and then I go darker and darker and I work on the shadows and try to sculpt if you will the, uh, f the face and the features and while I was trying to be as loose as I could, uh, because uh, for a while the portrait didn't really look at all like the character I was painting, I ended up working and working and maybe overworking it in a way. And so it was not loose at all in the end. And I had a hard time building the values. The shadow in the reference picture on the right side of his face is really dark and I added several layers, but when I added the black for his hair, that's when I realized it was still too light. So that's when I added more of my black mix to the skin tone color uh, to make it really, really dark and make it look more like the picture. The way I painted the hair was still very messy. I started with a base of blue because he has black hair. And so the lighter areas had a blue highlights to them. So I thought it would be a good idea to do it that way. But um, it's really not detailed at all this time. I just have a, such a hard time doing hair with watercolors. But overall, it does look like curly hair. So it still gives the right effect. It's just not what I want it to look like. But it's okay for now. I'm just practicing. And really, the hardest part for me was the stubble, and you'll see that in a little while. Uh, he's got a, a light stubble, and I just don't know how to paint that. I don't want to paint little dots because it looks weird. So I kind of painted like a shadowy thing with little dots, and uh, I really didn't like the way it looked like. But luckily, I was working on arch paper, which is so resilient. And I was able to make a lot of corrections with a stiffer brush. I was able to lift a lot of paint and correct a lot of my mistakes. So when all the paint was down on the paper and I thought that it was pretty much um, all the right colors at all the right spots, I used that stiffer brush and I kind of lifted the colors to shape the features a little bit more. With this portrait, I had a hard time with the likeness. So I worked a lot on it. And I even think that in some areas I kind of overworked it, 
But again, luckily the paper is very resilient, so it doesn't look that bad. But luckily in the end, by lifting a lot of colors, I was able to make it look a bit more like the original person. I'm not 100% happy with it because I wish it looked even more like him, but at least you can recognize who it is. So for the lips, I used a mix of Venetian Red and Ultramarine Blue and so it made a little purple and it looked pretty natural uh, it was a light pinkish purple i really like venetian red it's very useful for many different areas on the face and for the eyes i started with a layer of conacridum gold and i added some van dyke brown mixed with a little bit of raw sienna because he's got some dark brown eyes but I wanted some quinacridum gold to show through at the bottom of the eyes um, where there's some light you know, shining through. I also used a very light wash of ultramarine blue for uh, some areas of the white of the eyes because the white of the eyes are never white. And there's always some blue and then some pinkish, which again I painted with some Venetian red so pink more like near the eyelids and in the corners of the eyes and the blue on the whites of the eyes so that's about it for now um yeah i struggled a lot with this one and i definitely need to practice more because i want it to be seamless i want it to flow and to make it I want it to be easier to paint. I know I'm asking for a lot, but this will come with practice. I know that. That's why I really want to really stick to my weekly portraits, whether it be watercolors or any other medium. And I think I need to draw Ross Ball Dark one more time, and I'll probably use a different medium this time. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you soon with another one. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.